Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License, my Thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever I want. And today we are going to be doing more of our Nuzlocke. However, more importantly, today we are having a purdy. Thank you so much, Koneko, for the name. Welcome in. Um, welcome in, Kendra. Welcome in, Jed. Kendra with the first today, totally sniped it from Koneko. What in the heck? What in the heck? Don't worry, Kendra, we're doing treats. We're doing treats in just a second. We have one baby in here right now, lady, but we have to summon the rest of the babies for the purdy. Okay, so I have here the bag. Oh, what, what is this? The kitty cat's favorite. So I'm gonna open the door and I'm gonna shake the bag and see if anybody else wants to come to the purdy. Hopefully at least Oreo does. Here we go. Oh, that got ladies' attention, you guys. That got ladies' attention. Where's where's the other babies? Okay, don't worry, lady. You can have some treats. Here you go. There's some treats for you. Ash, Ash, you want to come to the purdy? You want to come to the purdy? Here you go. You can have some treats. Oh, lady, no, don't eat Ash's treats. Are you crazy? Eat your treats. Come on. Eat your treats. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for the applause. Oreo queen. The boys are playing loud video games, so I think maybe the other babies can't hear, but I'm going to give Rhea biscuit because she can tell the cats are getting treats and she's getting a little jealous. Um, we can't have that. Here you go, Riri. Here you go. Don't worry. I brought biscuit for you, too. I bought, can't leave the Riri out of the purdy. <laughs> All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go find the other babies. Oreo, come here. Hey, oh, there's, here's one. Oreo, come here. Oreo. Oreo, you want some treats? You want some treats, Oreo? Come here, boy. Oh, look at how big he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. We're gonna keep the baby cam all stream, on all stream, you guys, for the purdy. Okay, if if Queen comes in here later, then we can give her some treats too. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door, but I bet Ash wants out. Okay, she didn't immediately like panic and try to leave. <laughs> Lady, more treats for me if they don't come. She thinks, she thinks. Okay, and we've got another fun thing for them. We got another fun thing. Y'all look at how big Oreo is compared to Lady. So I've also got this. This is some catnip. This is... <laughs> Lady, Lady's going straight to the bag. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, open bag. There we go. I had to do it with my teeth. Okay, here we go, you guys. Hey, kitty kitties. Kitty kitties. Look, look. You guys, look over here. What's this? I make it rain, I make it rain, I make it rain. What? What's this? Oh my gosh, Ash, look, it's your favorite. Come here. I you know you don't want to play with the kittens, but like, don't you want to play with some catnip? Don't you want to play with some catnip? Yeah? Oh, I know you do. I know you want to play with some catnip. Here you go, Ash. There you go. There's some catnip. All right, everybody having fun at the purdy. Everybody having fun at the purdy. Okay. All right, you guys. Also, I have party hats for all of you. So humans can have fun at the purdy too. So Koneko, Kendra, and Jed, I need you to tell me what color you want. Orange. I've got blue. Okay. I've got green. I've got this turquoise blue. I've got yellow and I've got red. Okay. So what color do you want for your party hat? For the purdy teal okay kendra wants the teal and okay all right so here you go kendra stick your neck out okay there you go there okay very cute okay jed you want the red oh y'all are being so nice sharing the colors so good okay here we go here you go jed here's the red hat for you you look very handsome okay and then we've got blue for Koneko. So here you go, Koneko. Here you go. There's the blue hat for you, my friend. All right. 
All right, you guys. Now you all have party hats. Now you all have party hats. I have some ears too if anybody wants ears. You can tell me if you want a certain ear color. All right, so if anybody else comes in, we've got some party hats left. But if y'all want ears, I'll put those on you too. You just let me know. Oh, look at all the kitties. They play in, they play in. Oh, <gasps> Jed! Lily already has her purdy hat. Lily has her purdy hat. That's so awesome. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. <laughs> so yes, we're having a purdy. So the difference for this stream is, of course, baby cam will be on the whole time. You'll see the babies in their little their little bubble up here or wherever it is on the different scenes. And um, we've got the, the kitty cat treat redeem. It's on a cool down though, so they can't get too many treats. But I only put it on a 10 minute cool down and I made it really cheap so that they can get lots of treats. And then the catnip so y'all can watch them go crazy. I'm surprised Ash is still in here. She really loves catnip, but she really is not a fan of Lady and Oreo. So she she is tolerating them hard for that catnip. So yeah, okay. All right, you guys. We also like to do a quiz at the beginning of the streams, as you guys know. So here we go. Since it's a purdy, we're doing which cat breed are you? Assigning you a cat breed based on your personality, except it's really harsh, goes into detail, and it's me self-projecting. So here we go. We're going to find out what cat breed we are. And you guys do it too. Tell me what cat breed you get. Okay. We're going to choose one of my favorite songs. Moisty! <gasps> Moisty, welcome to the purdy. Okay, we've got some party hats. These are the colors that are left. We've got orange, green, and yellow. Which color would you like for your purdy hat? What would you like? Tell me. Uh oh, I think Queen wants in. She heard it's purdy time. Queen! Queen, you coming to the purdy? Queen, come on! Come on! <laughs> we got catnip and treats. Let's go! Alright. Here we go. Okay, Queen made it to the purdy, you guys. Oh, you were doing a different cat quiz? Okay. Oh, you are a fancy cat, Jed. That's true. Okay, okay, Moisty. Here we go. It's an orange party hat for you. There we go. <laughs> oh, Moisty, I appreciate it so much. I'm always so blessed when my UK friends come to my Thursday streams. All right. Moisty's got an orange party hat then. Okay, so anyway, back to the quiz. Choose one of my favorite songs. Look at the lyrics if you don't know the song. I'm so not going to do that okay we've got miss you by corpse can ghost be gay by carpet garden first love late spring by mitski trick by alex g and sippy cup by melanie martinez i don't know any of these songs and clearly a zoomer made this quiz but can ghost be gay i think that's a good question we should all be asking ourselves on a regular basis so that's what we're gonna go with favorite color any all i can't choose vibrant neon colors pastels earth tones Color questions are stupid. It's literally just a color. Wow. Um, red, black, any darker colors, hashtag emo. Um, you know, sometimes, some days I feel pastel. Sometimes I feel vibrant neon. Right now I'm feeling very vibrant neon. So that's what we're going to go with. It's a meanie? Oh, no. Well, just like a kitty cat is sometimes. <laughs> All right. Choose a song lyric. Honestly, I could just breathe you in. I never signed up for your drama club. No one will love you if you're unattractive. That's not true. That's not true. Work hard to get my shit together. I'm overwhelmed and I'm under the weather. Young people fall in love with the wrong people sometimes. Um, I never signed up for your drama club. Let's go with that. Is it sad? I just got butterflies at you putting the hat on my camera. <laughs> That's what I was going for. I'm so glad, Moisty. I'm so glad. Kendra called it ASMR, so I think you're not alone. Um, I'm a sphinx. Ooh, a sphinx. Uh, I don't know, Kendra. I feel a little awkward doing a whole stream ASMR. I don't think I can do ASMR things for two hours. The party hat was more like a last minute idea. Um, I didn't know it was going to cause an ASMR type of thing. I don't know. It feels weird. Personal attention role play. Mm, I don't know. You'd have to convince me. How many hours do you sleep? Anywhere between two and nine, depending on my mental state. Four, you're expecting me to remember. Sleep, what is sleep? 10 plus hours, how am I meant to sleep through my emotions? <laughs> Depends on the day. I already clicked this one because it's true. I sleep a lot, you guys. I love sleep. 
and if I don't get eight hours, I'm very cranky. How do you feel right now? I'm okay, thank you. Help me! Wait, you're actually asking? No one ever asked me how I feel anymore. Why do you care? Lonely as always. Um, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I got heckin' called out. I forgot to shower today. Oh no. Okay, let me read this Sphinx cat. You end up trusting too many people because you crave validation from others. You always go back to someone even if they fuck you over. You befriended the wrong people. You're mentally ill and definitely haven't showered recently. Yikes. Uh, you mostly have a body image issue slash or are or are transgender. You let out all your emotions by listening to sad music you can relate to. You also probably have ADHD and you're indecisive as fuck and you never make your own decisions and rely on other people. Wow. Wow. I did shower because I was going to get on here and stream. <laughs> um, what do you dislike about yourself? Body image. Romance is so... I'm so scared of physical touch. I feel like I talk too much. How anxious I am. Nothing. I'm awesome. Um... I don't, I don't really vibe with any of these. Maybe the talk too much one, but like, uh, I mean, if people don't want to listen, that's on them. I think I'm awesome, I think. I think that's the right answer for me out of those. What's your go-to music taste? I don't know, that shit, j just shit that makes loud noises that I can blast in my ears. Indie, love songs and romance, songs that sound how I feel, K-pop. I do like me some K-pop, you guys. I do like me some K-pop. Um, and pop punk's not on here, so we're going to go with K-pop. Tell me a secret. No. I got Siamese cat. Oh, we got some good different answers here. Okay. So my answer, you're probably the parent of the group. Um, Re, please don't. You're going you're gonna to knock the thing. You're going to knock the, the thing. This quiz is too accurate. Okay, anyway. Or the therapist friend. You have separation anxiety and need a friend with you to go anywhere. You're definitely still upset about a past relationship, friendship, and it makes you feel numb. Also, you know you can talk about your feelings, right? You don't have to keep all the problems to yourself. Get a therapist. Y'all, this quiz came for me. It, like, totally came for me. Okay, what's the Norwegian forest cat? You're an introvert, very soft person. You probably break down if someone looks at you in the wrong way. You're a pushover and you're very sensitive. You either have separation anxiety or social anxiety and force your friends to order for food for you in the cafeteria at school. Jed, is yours like creepily accurate too? You have to tell me. Queen, stop miss, stop hitting that tripod, please. Thank you. You're making the camera shake. Okay, we can, we don't want that. And Ash, uh, Ash is done with the purdy. Hang on guys. All right, go ahead. Lee, are you done with the purdy? I don't think you should be, but okay. I guess you can go. You're gonna want right back in. You want some water? Here you go. Some water. She's gonna want back in in like five minutes. I couldn't order my food until I was a full adult. <laughs> oh, kitty, you want an appropriate cat? Oh, oh wait, hang on, we have to go back. Okay, kitty. For the party, everyone gets a party hat. All right, there's two party hats left. Do you want yellow or do you want green? Which which party hat do you want for the party? Oh, and I'll put it on you. I mean, I don't bother leaving the house, but I did used to have a Norwegian forest cat mix and she was a vibe. Queen, quit that. She's like rubbing doing rubbing her head against the um the thing. Queen. Come here. Yellow? Okay. Give me a second. I got to lure Queen out from behind there. What are you doing back there when there's like catnip over here? Yeah, I opened the catnip. I opened the catnip. You want some more, guys? You want some more? Okay, here we go. Whee! Wow, y'all like totally destroyed the sheets on that bed. Queen, don't. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Don't go right back there. Oh, oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go, Queen. All right, lady, go play with your friends in the party. Here we go. All right. <gasps> okay, yellow. Here we go, kitty. We can you can have a yellow hat. Okay. So we've got a green hat left. So the next guest can have a green hat and then I uh, sorry, I out of hats. All right, more treats. More treats, more treats, more treats, more treats. Everybody gets a treat. Okay. Here we go. Queen treat. Or your treat. Lady treat. Here you go, lady. Want your treat? Come on. Everybody gets a treat. 
This is the chaos. I'm here for it. Oh my god, and the dog wants back in. All right, Riri. Maybe, maybe we just keep the door cracked for this stream, and that's just how it goes. Come on, Riri. Here, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna put the light box right here so that the door can stay cracked. And I'm sorry if y'all hear any loud boom boom noises. Um, the boys are playing that Tiny Tina video game, so we'll just deal with it. It's okay. It's it's a party, so loud noises are acceptable. I felt friend flutters getting my hat. <laughs> oh my god, y'all! I had the hat idea last minute. Last minute. Pokemon who? We're getting to the Pokemon. Pokemon's next. It's just, you know, the kittens are one, so we have to have our purdy. We have to have our purdy. <laughs> All right. Let's open up the Pokemon. No, I'm telling you, only cats, only cats. No Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Siamese, the dad of the group. So true. Okay, so Siamese. Yes. Oh my gosh, Moisty. We're vibing. Yeah, they like it okay. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff that's broken about it because, like, it's a new game and, like, every freaking game released is broken. So they found, like, some pretty annoying bugs and, like, things that were, like, not very well playtested. But, you know. All right. Um, so I'm not sure what that was about, you guys. OBS got an error somehow. Um, I thought for a second it might be like the storm or whatever, but it wasn't. <laughs> it was, uh, it was like OBS just crashing. So I don't know what that was about. Um, <laughs> oops. Uh, does this mean we can apply the hats again? Oh my God, Moisty. Oh my god, you all cracking me up. Y'all cracking me up. Okay. We're, what's going on? <laughs> oh my god, you guys. OBS, why? Okay, y'all can see the Pokemon. Baby Cam is still on. Re, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a bit of my snack. I'm gonna have a bit of my snack. <laughs> poor Koneko, poor Koneko. Two chances at first, and Kendra took one and Jed took the other. <laughs> so I have a chocolate payday. I've never tasted chocolate payday before, but we're gonna try it, you guys. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it and see how it goes. It's literally just a payday with dipped in chocolate is what it looks like. Y'all gotta get another friend in here, and then <clears throat> I'll put the green hat on them. <clears throat> I feel like it's- paydays are always kind of hard to chew, but the chocolate one's even harder to, to chew. Not crazy. Lunar, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, we'll do another hat. Lunar, you're here. You're, you're here for the last party hat. We have the green one next, so here we go. So I know I know you have to run, but you showed up in time, so you still get a party hat. So here we go. Here's your party hat, Lunar. And now you are here for the... Oh, what just happened? Oh my god. What button did I press? Ooh, I totally messed it up. Hang on, let me get your party hat, Lunar, and try that again. Okay. If it's a party, it's gonna have to be crazy, right? Okay, here we go. Anyway, take two. Lunar's party hat. Here you go, Lunar. You have the green party hat. Okay, it stayed on the right scene this time, instead of automatically scrolling down a bunch of scenes. What in the heck? Kendra. Kendra, you're crazy. Okay. 
saw Landon's name, so had to applaud. Yeah, because it popped over to one of the ESW, um, the Interstage Window streams. Oops. <laughs> okay, you guys. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna fight some more trainers in the Nuzlocke. Um, I'm gonna try to get as many of these guys as possible up to 42, where Badger is. So we're gonna try to get everybody a level. We're gonna fight some more trainers. I'm just saying what everyone in chat is wanting. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. Yeah, so Landon can live another week. Yeah, so Lunar, we're having a purdy. It's the kitten's one-year birthday. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Okay. He's so much lower level, like, this should be fine. We're just magnitude. Oh, magnitude 10, good. Yeah, so I put a bunch of catnip on the bed, so the kittens are, like, hanging out on the bed and they're playing. Queen is, um, causing a ruckus. And, um, probably was gonna bump the camera again, so I'm really sorry to everybody who has to, to see that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's what we're doing. I looked through my camera, my pictures the other day, and I realized that um, based on what my camera says, the first litter of kittens, which Lady, Oreo, um, and Pepsi, Soda from Elixir, are a part of, uh, was born on the 7th. So I'm pretty sure this is their birthday. All right, no worries. Thank you so much for hanging out with us, Kendra. I'm, I'm so excited you were able to. Regardless of ASMR, I can always make fantastic bets. Aw, oh, thank you, Moisty. I do try to cultivate the chillness. Okay, this is not working to fight Tangela. We gotta do something else. Um, maybe we can get Lishy. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, time zone differences really do suck. I hate, I hate that, um, that I can't really conveniently stream much earlier, except on the weekends. Like, the Saturday stream is quite early. But during the weekdays, I definitely can't. And people are busy on the weekends, so. All right, well, thank you for stopping by, Lunar. Happy to have you here. And um, and have fun on whatever it is you're going to go do. Okay, Oddish. No, we'll keep Lishy out. We'll keep Lishy out. So we're going to beat up the trainers that are on, you know, the route 15, 14, 13. Like, we're going to backtrack up this direction instead of the other direction we were going before. And then if we have time, we're going to go beat Koga. And, um, of course, we'll see how this, this goes. But, um, y'all, y'all stop me anytime that you want, um, oh, I need to use my, I need to use my antidote. <clears throat> oh, an Are interview. A per day party in here? Yeah, we're having a per day party. Birthday party. <laughs> yes. Would you like some ears to celebrate the per the birthday party? Uh, I think there's plenty of ears in here. Okay, we do have lots of ears among everybody. Yes. Can y'all hear him? Talk again. I want to see if they can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, they can hear you. I saw it. Birthday celebration. <laughs> they're saying good luck and hi. Good luck to. Oh, they're saying good luck to Lunar. Kitty says, oh. Levi! Okay. Uh, I didn't read that very well, sorry. Bye! <laughs> enjoy your per day celebration. We will. We Let's will. Oreo rolling around in the cat net. Oh my god, Oreo is loving it. Loving it. And now they're sending you waving emojis. Where's the camera? Um, it's right here, so if you like, can if you're here, they can see you. Because I'm like a little circle. A little bit lower. There we go. Now they can see you wave. <laughs> you can put ear on my fist. Oh, okay. Here we go. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Okay, I'm done with this. Okay, bye. Goodbye. Go have fun with your tiny Tina game. <laughs> it doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> Obviously, because I had the door open, he could hear me and was tempted. I can still hear you. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay, so... Well, Karen Jr., I think Karen Jr. will do better against the birds. I think that's right. 
Oh no, it doesn't affect them because they're flying. I don't really use ground types a lot, so I'm not super familiar with them. Um, let's do... Let's do... Let's do bird v bird. Let's do bird v bird. Yeah, Oreo's loving the catnip. Lady... Lady, why are you, like, opposite of where the camera is? So, Lady is still here, but she is, um... Oh, I didn't. I put out Lishy instead. Oops, I meant to do bird v bird. Um, oh no, he must have... No, he must have used that whirlwind thing to bring Lishy out. Um, lady's like under the desk, exactly in the spot in the room that y'all would not be able to see her. Uh, no. You put out Moisty Buddy Whirl. Yeah, thank you, Jed. Yes, that must have been what happened. I just wasn't paying attention because I was looking at Lady. There we go. But no. Silly bird keepers. <laughs> uh, maybe she's like photoed out or something. Like the cat nip was just like, I don't want to be photographed while I'm on the nip, guys. I don't want to be photographed while I'm on the nip, okay? Like I'm not my I'm not my best self. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just watching him like in the camera. He's going bonkers. Like maybe he's the reason that the bed's all torn up. <laughs> Cause like he pulled the blanket down just now. Maybe he did it before too. Meow, meow, meow. Queen is Queen is also um, off her tits, but she's on the floor, like away from the catnip, so y'all can't really see her very well. But she is she is also looking a little wild. <laughs> Y'all, before stream started, Lady realized, like, what I had up here on my desk, that I had, like, the catnip and the, and the treats and everything, and she had to come, like, climb all over them and sniff everything, and, like, just was looking at me, like, she would be like, <laughs> like, that to the treat back. <laughs> like, she was saying, curse this lack of thumbs. <laughs> That's what it felt like. That's what it felt like. There we go. Okay, more bird keepers. Man, this is not the place to be leveling up my Dodrio, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and switch because we know nothing's going to really work. Let's try bird v bird again. We're going to try bird v bird again. Oh yeah, you're absolutely right, Koneko. If Lady had thumbs, she would totally have just opened the treat bag and just eaten it. Like, that would have been just... That would have been the end. Alright, let's swing attack. Oh, that still is, that still is pretty good. I guess because the stab. <clears throat> Even though they're flying type. Have you ever played the surprise cucumber game with your kitties? <laughs> they really hate cucumbers for some reason. I have not played it, but I have seen the surprise cucumber game and um i don't know i mean if all of a sudden i turned around and something that wasn't there before had suddenly appeared i'd jump too so like i don't think it's cucumbers i think it's just like you know you know how like if somebody sneaks behind you and you didn't hear them and you turn around and there they are like i think that's that's what is up oh i didn't mean to do that it's because long thing green that appears that makes them think there's a snake oh it's a snake oh, that's what they think i just would think it's like Something appeared, and and they wasn't there before. You know, like anything would do that. Kay, welcome in, welcome in. Kay, we are having a birthday purdy because Oreo and Lady are both one year old today. So we have got uh, redeem for treats for the kittens. It does have a bit of a cool down so that they don't end up with too many treats. But um, but yeah, and there's catnip all over the bed, which is why Oreo is currently going bonkers. <laughs> Oreo is still the cutest. K, you're such an Oreo fan. You're such an Oreo fan, K. Specifically, long things that are scary because it could be a snake. That's interesting that you say that, um, Koneko. I feel like that's probably true because I I know that um, we have like like biologically a lot of mammals have like specific wiring to fear snakes because they're such a unique animal and so many varieties of them can be quite 
harmful. Um, so, yeah. I, I totally believe it. <laughs> yeah, he's here for it. He's here for the catnip. I am so jelly of all these people who keep finding snakes in their yard. I just want to see one. Oh, we have we have snakes here. I mean, I don't know what state you live in, Kay, but in uh, South Carolina, we definitely have a decent number of snakes. You can just kind of go out into the woods and, and you'll find one. <laughs> Especially like the little green ones. Because they're pretty friendly um, and, pr and very harmless. And, uh, and so, you know, they're interested in you for your body heat, especially in the, uh, like, fall and springtime when it's not so hot outside. Texas. I've never seen a wild one except one that was, like, six inches long. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know anything really about Texas snakes or anything like that. Lucky to even see a great grass snake in the UK. We got nothing but foxes and overweight rats. I guess they eat all the snakes, the foxes and the rats. We don't have harmful snakes here in the Netherlands. Adders are dangerous to little kids and people with weak immune systems, but not to healthy people. And I've been lucky enough to see a few in the wild. I mean, we have both here. We have harmless and poisonous snakes. You know, it's both. I have like 10 in my yard. I love it. All bug eaters and friendly to hold. Yeah, I, we don't have any snakes in our yard, but like, I wish we did because we have too many mosquitoes. And a lot. there's a lot of lizards and spiders that'll eat the mosquitoes, which is nice. And frogs that'll eat the mosquitoes, but we need more mosquito eaters. We need more mosquito eaters always. Okay, I need an awakening. A couple kinds of venomous snakes, but I'd be more interested in seeing the non-venomous ones like rat snakes or bull snakes. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to see a venomous snake. That's scary. You want to see like a cute little snake that's not venomous and is totally chill and just like wants to crawl on you because you're warm. That's the kind of snake experiences you want to have. Uh, no, we're gonna stay though. We'll stay with Moisty. I'm always on the lookout when I'm hiking walking because I do want to see a wild copperhead. Oh, um, I've never seen a wild copperhead. So I used to, there's this park back in my hometown that we used to go to all the time. It's like a, a nature park and uh, an historical park kind of thing. And um, we would go and there's a, a nature trail on part of it. And it's like the circular boardwalk thing and there's four different spots that you can stop on the boardwalk and they have like little like kiosky like building things and one of them was a snake exhibit and they had all different kinds of enclosures for uh snakes that they were you know that were either not fit to go back out into the wild or were like um they were being rehabbed for something or whatever you know they were injured or something like that and um and so i have i have seen you know many i've seen copperheads and all of those things like many many times but not not like in the wild but like wild ones in a cage <laughs> if that makes sense uh give a, what oh my god jed wow <laughs> But um, tsh, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Uh, no, we're gonna stay with Lishy. Bats. Yeah, we don't have any bats in our yard, but we definitely have bats in the area, um, which is cool. They eat mosquitoes too, so love bats. I love anything that eats the mosquitoes, honestly. Anything that eats the mosquitoes. First day had it in chilled out. Good night, Moisty. Thank you so much for stopping by. I always love it when my UK friends are able to come to my Thursday streams because, like, I, ca I can't even. Like, I try to imagine myself staying up that late. And even if I really, really wanted to, it just wouldn't happen. It just wouldn't happen. Snakes are a special interest. Oh, um, maybe K don't die doing it. Like, maybe don't die doing it. <laughs> I think it would be best if you lived. <laughs> Good night, Moisty. Good night. We used to have lizards in our pond. Oh, and that was the year with the least mosquitoes. Oh no, he has levitate, so it didn't do crap. That's not very good. Okay, let's do... Let's get, um... 
Let's see. Let's get Caroline out here. Maybe Caroline can do some good with the coughing. All right, let's do Ice Beam. Lizard, Salamander, which one's in the water? I think Salamanders tend to live in the water, but I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. They eat, they eat mosquitoes too, so they're good friends. No, we can keep Caroline. We can keep Caroline. Yeah, the ones that we, the lizards we have around here are those like little green anoles, and they're freaking everywhere. Love those things. They're awesome. All right, Ice Beam is doing good against these guys. I'm very, very happy with that. Someone in my Facebook groups, they got a serious bite from one of his cobras. Apparently he died for a little while and his post about his bite, he describes what it's like to die. Holy crap, like he had to be revived. That's insane, Kay. That is insane. How do you continue to keep snakes after an experience like that? I don't know, man. I saw a lot of lizards and a few different kinds of snakes when I lived in Australia. Oh yeah, they got all kinds of craziness in Australia. All kinds. All kinds. Insanity. Um, I don't- I didn't really see a huge amount of wildlife when I was in Australia, but we pretty much stuck to like the East Coast cities, so I think that's really why we didn't see a huge amount of wildlife. It's a little bit, but um, that trip we went to New Zealand as well, and we saw a lot of the New Zealand countryside. But New Zealand doesn't have a lot of wildlife. They mostly have sheep. So we saw a lot of sheep. <laughs> a lot, a lot of sheep. I stole a fancy metal plaque and I put it in my yard declaring a wildlife nature preserve. It's been pretty funny when people ask about it or admire it. I don't ever tell them I stole it. Kitty, that is amazing. Okay, that is the most badass metal story you've ever told. Like, I love it. I love that, like, your your moment of um, of anarchy is stealing a nature preserve sign so that you can say that your yard's a nature preserve. Like, that's wonderful. <laughs> Nothing but darkness. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. Yeah, I wouldn't... If I had an experience like that, I would not be, like... Uh, with a snake, I don't think I would have want to have anything to do with snakes ever, ever, ever again in my entire life. Every lizard see his friend, because we were in America our first day trip on the vacation, lizard decided to sit on mom's bag. Lizards are great. Lizards are great. Love them. <clears throat> Love lizards. They're very cute. When I was a kid and dumb and didn't know, you know, that it was like hurting them, I used to like catch lizards, because you had to be like real quick and quiet to do it. So it was like a fun activity for me. I don't do it as an adult anymore because you can really hurt them. So I don't do it. But I did it a lot when I was a kid and stupid <laughs> and didn't know no better. What's up, Riri? What's up? You okay? Oh, Dugite snakes. Okay. Let's look at this. Let's look at this snake. This is a Western Australia snake. Oh, it's a caution sign. Dugite snakes is a natural inhabitant of coastal dunes. Oh, 185 centimeters long. I don't, I don't know how to, I don't know European length. Sorry. The adults are dark brown or gray tinged green with scattered all black. Okay. Very cool. That's very cool. Oh, do I have cut? Hello. Do I have cut? Yes. Okay. Oh, I taught taught cut to Karen Jr. Okay. Fabulous. Good job, Karen Jr. You look gentle, so I think I can beat you. Wow. I'll give it a go. They go to around six foot on average. Oh my god. That's a lot of feet. That's a lot of feet, you guys. That is a lot, a lot of feet. Y'all, is it time for more um, treats for the kitty cats? Is the, thing, is the thing back? Is it time? Someone redeem it. I want to do more treats for the kitty cats. All right, let's magnitude this bitch. Yeah. Bye, Pikachu. Okay, thank you, Kay. We're gonna um, beat up this Raichu, and then we're gonna do more treats. I used to be scared of snakes when I was little. Then we were at the zoo following educational tour, and we got to pet a boa, and that got me over my fear. I don't remember ever being scared of snakes. 
I think because I would go to that park like all the time, like literally since I was a little baby was going there, I think I just, I just never, I never really understood like that a lot of people don't like snakes. Okay, here we go. So you can guys get big. All right. Oh, Ash, you're back. Oh, everybody here. Okay. Lady, you want to get up on the bed? All right, here was Ash one. There's an Oreo one. There's a cream one. There you go. Lady, you want one too? You want one too? Okay, here. Oh, come on. Sit on the bed. There you go. Here's your birdie treat. <laughs> All right. Y'all can't see Queen. She's like got herself situated just out of shot, but she is there on the bed. Like in the spot where Oreo pulled all the covers down. <laughs> garter snake. There's, garter snakes are heckin' cute, Koneko. I totally agree. Totally agree. Y'all, because OBS crashed, like my, the colors on my camera are all off from what I set them to and I didn't bother to set them back. Oh well. It is what it is. <laughs> Ash's camouflage behind you. Yeah, she is. <gasps> Ash is very patient. Lady is not. She's jumping over here right now to try to get more treats. Lady, you're gonna have to wait. You've had so many treats already. She's sniffing the bag, you guys. Lady, hello. Let's not do that. Okay, I don't, can I do, should I do ground versus fighting? Is this a bad idea? Are these the right ones? Let's see. Fighting is strong against, fighting is strong against, against exactly who I have out right now. Um, yep. Okay, so we definitely need to switch. Uh, let's switch to, let's see, I think I want flying. Yeah, I had a feeling, Koneko, I had a feeling. And then we're gonna switch Caroline to Lishy. There we go. And I know he's normal, but he's so bulky, I think it'll be okay. Oh good, he missed. Ice punch? That's not fair. Whatever. We're gonna get them. Get them. The sassy tail flicks, yes. Lady, why don't you go back and hang out with your brother? Like, why are you crawling all over my desk? Hmm? Hmm? What? Y'all, her little face. Her little face. Yeah, ice punch on not the burb. That's what I thought was about to happen. I thought it was about to be on Moisty. But no. <laughs> but no, it was on Lishy, so we're good. No problems. All right, there we go. Good job, you guys. Everybody gets experience. She did. She said peekaboo. What's up, Oreo? You had enough catnip? You catnipped out? Everything, everything good with you? He looks so chill right now, you guys. He looks so chill. I mean, he always looks pretty chill, but he looks like extra chill right now. All right, let's get this. Yeah, rain dance. What's cool and happening? Trade in Pokemon. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna adjust the baby cam so y'all can see a baby, because Queen is still there. It's just you can't see her. Okay, does that, yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Now you guys can observe Queen chilling. She had so much fun, it's nap time. Yo, this was such a good idea. Now the cats are gonna sleep so good tonight. This was so smart. Get them tired out during streams, so and when we go to bed, they're like, snooze. All right, so we got Karen Jr. 242, so we're good there. Um, let's switch to Teeth Fuzz, because he hasn't gotten any levels yet. 
catnip needs leads to catnap. Exactly. Exactly, Koneko. Exactly. You know, out of um, all the an animals that I have raised throughout my life, I have never raised snakes. Never, never. Um, I did raise turtles at one point. It was not very fun. It didn't last very long because they really stink. Like, it's really hard to keep their um, enclosure clean to, like, a human standard. I mean, they don't think it really stinks that bad, but it was it's hard. It's hard to keep it to a human standard. So, um, it did not last long. We ended up uh, getting rid of them, unfortunately, but, you know. All right, I think the fire is not going to do much against Lapras because he's water- and ice, not just ice. So I think we can just body slam and we should be good. Because he's not pure ice, because there really isn't pure ice types in this game. I had a bow and a python, but big sad. But the big sad got to me and wasn't, oh, I see, and ended up sending them to a reptile rescue. Understood. I mean, you have to do that sometimes. Like, I think it's, it's better to to like recognize when you can't handle it than to you know try to keep them whenever you don't really have the capacity to do so so i think that's really big of uk to do that recognize when you need to all right defeated and we do need to to did we catch a venonat i can't remember let's see um, because there's Venonats on here, but there's also a Ditto numerical mode. There's also Dittos here, and we could try to catch one, but, like, it might take a long time. And I don't know that I would ever use the Ditto. Yeah, okay, we did get a Venonat. I thought so, because I'm pretty sure I was like, I'm pretty sure I got one and even leveled one up to a Venomoth. I did. Kendra. <laughs> Kendra did that. Uh, Kendra put in Teeth Fuzz a long time ago, and it took me forever to find a Pokemon I was willing to name Teeth Fuzz. And finally, when we got the Ghastly, I decided I was willing to name him Teeth Fuzz. But that name sat in the queue for so freaking long. <laughs> it was like forever. Oh, because he's part normal type. Oh my freaking god. Durr. Can't do nothing. All right. Um, come on, Moisty. We'll do Bird v. Bird. Can't have pets for mental health issues. I'd like snacks, but I can't have them because maintenance is too much. I understand. I understand. As far as like maintenance of pets, I would say cats have I've been the luckiest with. Um, as far as maintenance levels go, they they I find their maintain maintenance very manageable. Um, so yeah, very good luck. Very good luck with kitty cats. And then other animals, you know, depending on the animal, they need more and more, more and more maintenance. But cats, I have found, need the least. I've also, also, I kept guinea pigs a lot as a kid, and I had pretty decent luck with guinea pigs. They're relatively low maintenance for for uh, rodents. Um, they're pretty good. I do recommend them as like, you know, pets for kids. Cats and guinea pigs, um, I would say, are good good pets for people that cannot handle too much in regards to the responsibility. Of course, there's still some responsibility, but less. Oh, there's ones on both sides. Okay. Come here. Have you heard of the legend with the winged mirages? Ooh. No, I have not. Oh, we're gonna have to switch out again. Because, of course, all of the flying types aren't flying normal. There's no such thing as just a flying type. All right, um, come on, Lishy. Body slam. Poor Vivi. Poor Vivi. I know, I made you restless, didn't I? I made you restless with the party. Vivi didn't like the, the birthday party. <laughs> it was a little too much for her. <laughs> We kept guinea pigs for our cousin sometimes when she was on vacation. We took care of the guinea pig, but the cute squeaks are overstimulating to me. Oh, yes. They are loud squeakers. Oh, my God. Um, n no, uh, no, uh, qu no, um, disagreement there. They are very loud. Okay, I think, did I, I think I fought these guys. 
Yes, yes, yes. Apparently boost the power of the move. Okay. I did do that. So then we just have to come down and fight these bikers. Treats for the babies. Okay, we'll do more treats, kitty, after this battle. Cleo the Destroyer is worlds of pissed off because I gave her flea drops. Now her head is spinning like the exorcist when she tries to lick her neck. And they can't quite reach it and it's driving them crazy. Yes, I know them feels. Um, our cats also freaking hate getting flea drops. But it's like the best way, you know. It's the best way. Because <clears throat> it gets hot here, so there are definitely fleas, and we do not want our animals to have to deal with fleas. So, it sucks, but gots to do it. Alright, the Shadow Paunch. She'll get over it. <laughs> Just something else she can scream about. Yep. <laughs> I'm sure she will get over it, too. Okay, the Shadow Punch does not do a lot of damage to the poison, so that's interesting. Interesting and good to know. Alright, good night, Koneko. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had fun um, at the purdy, and uh, thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. Alright, okay, here we go. We'll do more treats. Treats for the babies. Alright, everybody. We're doing more, I know, wow. What's this? Here you go, lady. You can have a treat. Oop. Queen, you can have a treat. Oop. Oreo, you can have a treat. Here you go, I won't make you get up on the bed. Don't worry, Ri, I see you. You can have a treat too. You can have a treat too. I got more biscuit for you. Here we go. <gasps> Here we go. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, yum, yum. Everybody's so happy, you guys. Okay, and get and I think Karen's gonna have a treat too. I'm gonna bite my payday. Mm-hmm. I think I like the chocolate payday's. Pretty good. I'm unsure if I like them. Or if I really prefer the regular paydays, though. I love a payday. Lee, are you okay? Poor Harry. I think the purdy has her overstimulated. Alright. Let's battle more Pokemans. My gosh. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm just pressing all the wrong buttons today. There we go. They're staying on the bed more and more where they keep getting treats. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Poor Ash. Poor Ash decided it was too much for her. And she had to go. <laughs> but I kind of expected that. I was really surprised that... She even stayed past, like, the first round of treats. I thought she would get, like, you know, antsy and leave after she got just a few treats. But she actually stayed for quite a while and played with the catnip and stuff. It wasn't too bad. I only heard her hiss once. I don't know when I go back and rewatch the VOD if that'll still be the case, but I only heard her hiss once. So that's good. Mm -mm. Nope, we're keeping him. Shadow Punch. Even though it doesn't it doesn't Oko. It takes it two hits, but it's okay. But it's hard to poison Teeth Fuzz since he is already a poison type. I'm not even sure he can get poisoned. Maybe he like literally can't get poisoned. That's possible. <clears throat> um no. Shadow Punch. Alright. Uh, no. So we've just got a few more trainers to beat. And then we're gonna go try to fight Koga. And hope that that is not the actual end of the Nuzlocke. <laughs> 
<laughs> like I thought Sabrina was going to be for a hot minute. And then we somehow survived. Magically. <laughs> All right. Yay, yes, you lost. Of course, Lucas. Why wouldn't you lose? I'm the star. So what I think we're going to try... What this, the strat that we're using is... There's Sand Slashes in there, so I'm going to use Lapras against the Sand Slashes. Then there's some Psychic Pokemon in there. I'm going to use Gengar against the Psychic Pokemon. And then I'm mostly just going to try to destroy with Hypno. Um, definitely use Hypno against Koga. And... Excuse me, definitely use Hypno against the Arbox that are in there. So that's my plan. We'll see how well it does. Um, <laughs> I am nervous. Koga, Koga is difficult and annoying. But we're definitely going to get to him this stream because it's only 7.30. And uh, we are already... We already are down to like the last... Uh, yes. So let's bring Caroline in. And try to get her some levels. She's very close to leveling, too. Ice Beam! Yeah, so that's my plan. We'll see if I win or if I lose and die. Um, I'm nervous. <laughs> the beginning of this game was so easy compared to, like, Sabrina and after, so... We nervous, we nervous. But almost everyone's gonna be 42. Just Lishy's not going to be, which is fine. That's okay. I need to burn some time. Shut up and battle. Okay. We're going to Ice Beam you, Grimer. Use our last Ice Beam, and then I bet Caroline's going to level up. Then we'll switch to Lishy. Yep. Okay, so Caroline does do good against these guys, so that's good to, good to know. Uh, yes, we're gonna switch over to Lishy. Because he's our bulky, bulky boy. A bulky, bulky girl. Forgot Lishy was a girl. But she's our bulky, bulky girl. Will this be enough to level her? I don't think so. No, oh, no, only one more battle, so no. It won't be enough to level her. Okay. Alright, so I don't think I'm going to bother trying to catch a Ditto, even though I could catch one on one of these routes along here. And it would still be, like, fine within the rules and everything. I think we're just going to head back and heal up. Because I just, even if I caught a Ditto, like... Would I use it? Would I use the ditto? I wouldn't use it. Like, why? There's no reason. So, why even bother catching it? Oh, I always go the wrong way in this city. You gotta go around this way, Karen. My gosh. There we go. Okay. Yes, please heal my mons. All right, so we are going to use um, Lapras, Gengar, and Hypno, and then Doug Trio and Lishy are good backups. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to save. Let me let me save game. Um Nope, not like that. Let's come here. Yes. I had to pull up the right menu. All right, state saved. Whew. Let's go. Good night, Jed. Good night. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay, so this is this is a gym. I hope you sleep well. Yep, okay. So we have invisible walls here. So we have to find the gaps in the wall and reach him. Strength isn't the key for Pokemon, don't you understand this? Pokemon is about strategy! I'll st show you how strategy can beat brute strength. I'm sure you will, my friend, I'm sure you will. 
So let's, we gotta figure out how to even reach Koda, Koga first. <clears throat> Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Alright, we're gonna shadow punch these hypnos that are in here. There's a bunch of them. <clears throat> I think that should be okay. Yeah, go Teeth Fuzz, you can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, super effective. Almost kills him. Good deal. Love it. Yep, okay. Whew. I'm very nervous, you guys. I'm very nervous. I'm I really I'm scared we're gonna have a repeat of uh Sabrina's gym in here, where I just like I just like get destroyed and don't know what to do. I was a magician once upon a time, but I dreamt of becoming a ninja, so I joined this gym. Ninja, ninja. All right. Okay, more psychic types. So we're gonna switch over to Teeth Fuzz. And I think because of the way the invisible walls are in this gym, it's one of those ones where you, you do end up fighting all the trainers, like you kind of can't really skip them or walk around them or anything. I think that's how this one works. Oh sweet, one hit KO on the drowsy, nice. It's kind of low level, so that's good. No, we're gonna keep shadow punching. So I'm not too scared of like these guys too much. I mean, I know we had like an, an oopsie on one of Sabrina's. Um, guys, but I actually like looked into what Pokemon these guys all had to make sure that I knew what the counters were. Um, so I'm hoping that I'm not going to have an issue with the trainers before Koga, and it's just going to be potentially Koga that I have an issue with. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. Good job, Teeth Fuzz. Uh, no, we're going to just shadow punch him again. Shadow punch this other drowsy. Yes, there we go. Good job, Teeth Fuzz. MVP. Super effective. Yep, I'm done for. Oh no. Yes, cats. <laughs> I'm so glad that gif is there for today. <laughs> Remember when we did the kitty cat maternity stream and we played pets? Remember that? That was a good stream. That was a good stream. I like to go back and watch that one um, so I can see all of the, the kitties. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get Hypno out. We're going to get Badger, 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 Badger out for Arbok. Badger is out for Arbok. Aw, oh, poison. Rude. Jeez. I don't like that. Okay, well, Psychic him. Is it gonna... Okay, good, good. We can Oko. Super effective. Yes, it is. Um, no. We're just gonna Psychic again. Does he have three Arboks? I think he might have three Arbox. Yes, it was a really good stream. So I like to go back and watch that one so I can see the kittens when they were really little. You know, little little beans, little kitten beans. Um, they did look more cat-like at that point than bean-like. It was very freaking adorable. That was a really good stream. Oh, there's the Sand Slash. I knew there was a Sand Slash in here somewhere. So, Caroline, it's your time to shine. Come get the Sand Slash. Ice Beam! Yeah, super effective. Good job, Caroline. Ba ba ba! Okay. Keep going. Oh, but there's still walls. Oh, poison, that's right. Um, I need... Must be down here. Antidote. Yes. Okay. Better. All better.
There we go. Found it. <laughs> the invisible walls are annoying. Yet the famed invisible walls. Famed for stopping me in my path. Tamer Phil sent out Sand Slash. Ice Beam. I think it's just those two Sand Slashes in here. I might be wrong, but I think it's just those two. Uh, yes, I want to go back to Badger. Psychic. You okay, Riri? Okay. Ri is getting very old, you guys, so I worry about her a little bit. Her mind is not what it used to be, you know? Uh, yes. Let's see, do we want to use Get Psych Up? Hypnotizes itself into copying any stat change made by the foe. No, I don't care about that for a Nuzlocke. Yes, stop learning Psych Up. I mean, that could be really annoying, but I don't care. Caroline makes me think of the Outcast song. Oh, which one? Is that the Roses? Is that the Roses song that's like got Caroline in it? Uh, I think it's that song, but like the, the lyric won't come to me. <laughs> the lyric won't come to me. When I think of them, I just think of like the shake it, shake, shake it, shake it, shake, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. Like that song. Is like the quintessential outcast song to me. I'm pretty sure that's outcast, right? I'm not mixing it up. I mean, they haven't been relevant in so long. I wonder what they're doing these days. I should go look what outcast is doing these days. I have no idea. Yes. Okay. Good. Roses. Okay. I can't. I somehow I like I knew it was the roses song, but like oh I missed what he was putting out. Anyway, we're gonna stay with Teeth Fuzz, I guess. Okay, it is another psychic. Um, but I can't remember the line that has Caroline. Caroline, she's the reason for the word witch. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember it. I'd have to go back and listen. But somehow in the back of my mind, I must have known that that there was a line like that in there. Because I just somehow was like, oh, the Roses song. But I can't, I can't, like, I can't even, now that you said it, I can't even think of the tune that's for that particular line. Yay. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. I like that song. That was a good song. Let's see. How do I get down there? Oh my god. I don't know how to do it. Round the outside, round the outside. Oh, well, there's how you get to Koga, but there's one more trainer. I want to do the last trainer. Should I have done him first? Is that what's going on here? Did I, like, mess up? And I should have fought him first? Okay, let's try. Yeah, I think I should have fought him first. Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's see you beat my special technique. Oh, it's another juggler. Okay. Alright, come here, Teeth Fuzz. Let's go. We've got psychic Pokemons to beat up. Yeah, it doesn't affect Teeth Fuzz. That's right. That's right. 
super effective. Alright, Kadabra. No, we're keeping Teeth Fuzz. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, so we got all the trainers. So we're going to need to rearrange our party just a little bit. You had me fooled. Well, you shouldn't have been. You shouldn't have been. Alright. Let's see. So let's put Badger in front. And then Doug Trio is our backup. There we go. So we'll do the party like that. All right, let's go to the Poke Center and heal up. And then we'll come back and fight Koga. And hope it goes well. <laughs> and he doesn't wipe me. Uh, oh my gosh, Sabrina's got me like, Sabrina's got me some like Pokemon PTSD in my brains. Whew. Thank you for waiting. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Run, run, run. I'm gonna save again. Uh, let's do save to file. There we go. Does that look weird, you guys? I'm like phantom mouse clicking and you can't see what I'm clicking on. Does that look like really weird from your perspective? <laughs> Cause I know what I'm doing. I can see the dialogue boxes. But you can't. There we go. There's Koga. Okay. What's up, dude? <laughs> A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well. I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of the poison type Pokemon. I will not despair, Koga. I'm gonna kick your ass. I hope. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> all right, let's psychic all these bitches to death. Psychic and pray, that's our strategy, psychic and pray. Uh, no. We're gonna Psychic again. I don't see anything odd about it. <laughs> Good point, Kitty. Alright, two hit it on the Muck. So that's good. He has not pulled out his Ace yet, though. Uh, no. Well, he really is gonna go in order. Because he should have a level 43 something. I can't remember. Some kind of poison type. But yeah, wheezing. No. There's the 43 wheezing. It's probably gonna take two psychics to kill this guy. So we'll see what move he uses in between. Oh no! Oh, I critted! Oh, sweet! Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Faith restored in myself. Faith restored. I got the souls badge. Holy cannoli. Let me at turn it on in my thing. Okay, there we go, you guys. There we go, we got another badge. <sighs> souls badge, yes. It also lets you use Surf outside of battle. Take this too. TM6 from Koga. Yes, sealed with TM6 lies toxic is a secret technique dating back 400 years. Okay, there's still invisible walls, so I still ha I have to like escape. He <laughs> Come on, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Get me out. There we go. Okay. Woo! Alright, so let's go heal. And the next thing we need to do is the Safari Zone. Um, we'll see if we can try to catch a Pokemon in the Safari Zone. I'm. It, it, there's like a totally Get different it, technique. Kiri. Ah! Thank you so much, Kitty. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the biddies. I got it. Alright, so we're going to go into the Safari Zone. 
next. The way you catch Pokemon in there is different than how you catch it anywhere else in the game. So we'll maybe we'll try to catch the first one we see, but I'm not going to sweat it if we don't get it. Warden Slowpoke is running a promotion campaign right now. Try to get the farthest corner of the Safari Zone. If you can make it, you'll win a very convenient prize. Ooh, convenience. I love convenience. I live my whole life by convenience. We nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke. You know, he has that vacant look, like a Slowpoke. <gasps> Oreo has that look. That's like Oreo. Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. He even has some fossils of rare extinct Pokemon. Interesting. Warden Slowpoke came in, but I couldn't understand him. I think he's got a speech problem. Interesting. Okay. We already talked to all these guys. I think I... Do I have to cut? Yes. I think I have to cut to get into the Safari Zone area. Yeah. Let's see what some of these guys have to say. Oh, I wish I was a Kangaskhan baby. I'd love to be a substitute for the baby and snuggle in the mother Kangaskhan's belly pouch. But only Pokemon can use the technique substitute. Want me to teach substitute? No, we don't need to worry about substitute. Yeah, I mean, you say that. Um, but I don't know, my friend. I don't know. What's this? This is a Kabuto, an extremely rare Pokemon that was regenerated from a fossil. Wow. Did you try the Safari game? There are some rare Pokemon that can only be caught there. Don't worry, we're about to. I'm just talking to peeps. Okay, I think that Kangaskhan guy, the substitute move tutor, was the only guy I hadn't talked to. Okay, my eyeball is so itchy, you guys. I'm so sorry. I know this is gross to look at. Hi, is it your first time in the Safari Zone? Yes, the Safari Zone actually has four zones in it. Each zone has a different kind of Pokemon and some rare ones. Use the supplied Safari Balls to catch them. You can also throw bait or rocks besides the Safari Balls. If you throw bait, the Pokemon becomes less likely to flee, but harder to catch. If you throw rocks, the Pokemon becomes more likely to flee, but easier to catch. When you run out of time or Safari Balls, it's game over for you. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just 500 Poké Dollars, you can play the Safari game. You can roam the wide open Safari and catch what you like. Would you like to play? Yes. I do want to play. I want the convenient item. Okay, we'll call you on the PA. Yes. Thank you for the good luck. Alright, so we are just going to try to walk to the back of the Safari Zone. Um, what's in here? No, we get to talk to people. I'm catching Pokémon to take home as gifts. Oh, that's nice of you. Where did my boyfriend Eric go? I don't know, girl. It's not my job to keep up with your boyfriend. So I think... Yes? North... Yes. Northeast corner. I was looking at my notes because I wrote down how to navigate the safari zone. Alright. So we're going to walk through here. Oh, here's an encounter. Let's see if it's something we have or don't have. Okay, we never caught a Nidorans. So we can try to catch this Nidorino. Alright, let's throw the ball. Hey! We caught something in the Safari Zone. I can't believe it. Alright, so what names do we have? I don't even have it pulled up because I didn't expect to catch anything. Let me pull up the queue you guys. Let's pull up the queue. Alright, so we can do lunch or we can do Dr. Lumps. I think we're gonna do lunch. I think we're gonna name our new girl lunch. Yes. Lunch. Okay. Lunch was transferred to Bill's PC. Alright. I, I was saving Dr. Lumps for a ditto, which I don't know if I'm going to bother catching. But, because I just think it'll take forever. But that's why I didn't use Dr. Lumps. Okay. Thief Stone. That may be my new fave. I love the Nidoran line. I think they're great. Um, I was kind of sad we didn't catch one earlier. But there's an item over there. Max Potion. 
Yes, okay. Oh, what happened? There we go. Lunch is also a good Pokemon name in general, I think. Oh, full restore. Yay. Oh, there's another item over there that I missed. Oh. Oh, another Nidoran. But we already caught our Safari Zone Pokemon, so we're not going to catch any more. Sunny day! Cool. Okay. What's in this house? How many did you catch? I'm bushed from the effort. I caught a Chansey. That makes this all worthwhile. Phew, I'm tired from all the fun. Yeah, the Nidoran line's awesome, kitty. I like them a lot. Oh, there's a boy one. But we're running away. All right, next area. Is it up? Yeah, I think we go up here. Quick claw. So that's nice. I hope I don't run out of steps before I reach the back. Because <laughs> that's how it counts it. So it's not actually time in the safari zone. It's the number of steps. And if you take too many steps, then you get told uh, to leave. But I think I can reach the back with no problem because I'm not really like running around trying to catch Pokemon. Okay, after. I'm just looking at my notes to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Okay. <gasps> Treats for the baby time! Okay, let me run away from this Pokemon. Oh, here's the little one, a little Nidoran. Okay, here we go. Treats! Okay, babies. Mrs. Kitty said it's time for you guys to get my treats. Happy first birthday, everybody. Happy first birthday, lady. Happy first birthday, Oreo. Here you go, queen. You can have a treat, too. There you go. <laughs> the dog is awake and noticed, so I have to give her biscuit, too. They have no idea what to do. They've never gotten so many treats in one day. Usually treats is like a, there you go, Riri, is like a, they, uh, they get them like once, I mean, a week-ish or something like that, you know? They don't get like multiple in a day. <laughs> All right, back to the Nuzlocke. <clears throat> I love how tired they are. Like, I'm just like so glad we decided, am I supposed to go north? Am I supposed to go north? No, I'm not, I don't think. Okay, here's Steel Wing. Yeah, I know this is right. I didn't take very good notes. Okay, protein. <clears throat> there we go. Gold teeth? What? Gold teeth? Why are this somebody's teeth outside? That's gross. Double team. <gasps> no, I didn't make it. Okay, I have to walk more efficiently. I guess because I picked up all them items. Okay, let's try again. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to play. Yes, but I don't really need the Pokeballs. I'm just trying to reach that house in the back that I was two steps away from before you told me my time was up. Okay, we're going to try to be a bit more efficient with our steps. Oh, there's a do duo. We already have one of those, though. So you can see some of the stuff that you can find here in the safari zone. 
More Nidorans. The rare ones in here are like Chansey and Kangaskhan. All right, next area. Bless you, babies, bless you. Oh, execute, you can get executes in here. Max revive. Here's these are some items that we missed. Max potion. Wait, is it this building I was trying to get to? I think it was the other building. Yeah, this is just a regular rest building. Tossing rocks at Pokemon might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. Using bait will make Pokemon more likely to stick around if they get busy eating. I hiked a lot, but I didn't see any Pokemon I wanted. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Okay. Can I make it? That inefficiency might have cost me. I mean, I got the gold teeth. Like, that's the main thing. Oh, there's a Chansey. Too bad I already caught one here. I already caught a Pokemon in the Safari Zone. I think if I don't reach the... Oh, I did not mean to throw that. Oh, shoot. Please don't catch it. I'm breaking my rules. We're going to have to go release that Nidoran. Yes. Uh, oops. I did not mean to do that. Sorry, Nidoran. Just kidding. You're going to get released. No, because I'm getting going to get rid of you. Oopsie. Oopsie. That was a mistake. Sorry, Nidoran. If you got excited, it's my bad. Haha, -ha, made it in. Ah, finally, you're the first person to reach the secret house. Although I made a campaign at our grand opening, I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you've won! HM3! Yes, this is what we needed. We needed Surf! Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water using it, and this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Yes, I suppose I am. Okay, let's teach it to our Lapras. All right, come here, Caroline. Let's go into, let's see, TM case. And we're going to teach Surf to Caroline. That's funny that um, that uh, Snorlax can learn Surf. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get rid of... Let's see. Faints in three turns unless it switches. Let's do... Let's replace Body Slam. Because we have the Rain Dance, which will power up our Surf. And then we can use Surf. So that's good. Caroline learned Surf. Okay. And then we can just Surf across. Yes. Whee! Yes, as I didn't stop to get all those items, I was way more efficient with my steps. And now we're just going to run around until we get kicked out. I'm going to get up on that ledge so I'm not running into Pokemons. Alright, let's just go up here. There we go. Time's up. Your Safari game is over. Alright, so then we're going to take the gold teeth over to the man that couldn't talk. And I know that was a while ago because we played Final Fantasy in between. Um, but if y'all remember, we talked to a man that had lost his teeth. 
He was like over here somewhere in one of these houses. Was it this guy? Yes. Karen gave the gold teeth to the warden. Thank you, you're a lifesaver. No one could understand a word I said, not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office even. Let me give you something for your trouble. Yay! So now we've got HM4. So that's gonna be strength. So now we've got strength and surf. So we're gonna teach strength to Lishi here. Yes, we're gonna delete a move for strength. Mm. Use their sleeps to restore HP, an attack that can only be used while asleep. It may cause flinching. Do I want to keep yawn or do I want to keep rest? This is well. This is eighty-five, a hundred. This is eighty, a hundred. Huge yawn that loves into falling asleep. So that puts the others to sleep, and then I, so I need to keep rest and snore because they kind of go together. I guess I could replace body slam. It's kind of the same thing. It's only five lower, but that may leave the foe paralyzed. And they're both 15. Let's replace Body Slam. I think that's going to be the more, the better call. Y'all, all the cats are like so tuckered out. They're so tuckered out, you guys. Let me just, let me just adjust the big camera so y'all can see all of them. Look at this. There's Lady, Oreo, and Queen all passed the fuck out. <laughs> They're so tired, you guys. <sighs> Did I put the camera back right? I think I tipped it down too far. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. All right, so we got two new HMs. So that's good. And we can use strength here. Um, yes, I would like to use strength. Give me that item. So then I can just push this and I get a rare candy. Yay! Oh, camera's not straight. I think that might be better. Okay, that looks better. All right, so we need to go take a look at what Pokemon we have, because the next area we're going to go to is going to be like all water. So we have to go to next is like all water. So I'm not sure that it's best to use some of these guys that we've got. Because if it's all water, then we really shouldn't have... Oh, what am I doing? Uh, no. What did I choose? Oh, I chose move items. I meant to choose move Pokemon. I was like, what's happening? All right. So we need to... Yeah, oh my gosh. She's being so restless. Poor thing. So this is all, like, going to be water Pokemon. So I think we're going to get rid of Doug Trio, And I think we're going to put Lord Oreo in the party instead. So then we've got Hypno, Gengar, Snorlax, Lapras. We have to keep Lapras for Surf. Moisty. And Lord Oreo. Is that the best choice we can make? Got Holly, but... No, I think that's the best choice we can make. I think it is. Yeah, he's very cool. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We've got quite a bit of time left in the stream. And I have a question for myself. Can we catch a ditto? Can we actually find one? So I think... We're going to go try to find a ditto. Back on those roots. Yes. Please heal my babies. <clears throat> so our level cap now is 47. Because that's going to be the next, the Cinnabar gem that we do next. Yeah, so it's 8.05. So let's see if in the next 20 minutes we can catch a ditto. We can run into one. Oh, let me make sure I have Pokeballs. Ha! I need those. 
Okay, yeah, and we have great balls. Okay, fabulous. Fabulous. Nope, we don't want Bell Sprout. I believe too, Kitty. I believe too. We're gonna try. See what happens. I expect to mostly run into Venonats, though. Because that's what we're really going to find along here. Not so much dittos. We're going to run up to this patch of grass right here. Oh, wait. No, I can't because I don't have Doug Trio with me anymore. Just kidding. We're going to use these patches. We're just going to run back and forth and back and forth. And try to catch a ditto. They're on route 15 and 14, which I'm pretty sure. No, and and they're on. No, they're on 14 and 13. Let me make sure of what route that is. If this is 15, or if I need to go up a little bit more. Um, let's see. Let's go to my map. What? Oh my gosh. I want the best followers, but I feel like I already have the best followers. I mean, so many of you guys came to the birthday party. And we had so much fun with the kitty cats and the party hats, you know, so I just feel kind of like, I feel kind of like I already have the best followers. Alright, so this is route 15, so we need to go up here to route 14 or 13. So actually, I do need to go get Doug Trio out, and we're going to go in that one patch that's up there. Alright, let's this. Um, where's the button? Okay. For some reason I didn't see the ban button, but I found a restricted button to mark him as a suspicious user. So I did that. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to go get our Doug Trio so we can cut. And then we will go up to that one patch and see if we can catch a ditto. Uh, we're going to go to Bill's PC. Okay, Kitty believes in me, so we can do it, you guys. We're gonna do it. We're gonna catch a ditto. Just because I feel like it would be uncompletionist not to, you know? Like, if he's available to me, I should catch him. Uh, yes. Please cut. Alright. Hopefully the ditto should be in here. We're gonna run around until we find one, or until it's time to end stream. Whichever comes first. <clears throat> All right, that's two down. How many um, encounters do you think it will take me to find a ditto? Three encounters. We're going to count like the count. All right, so one encounter, two encounters, three encounters. Oh, oh, oh. All right, that's five encounters, I think. My gosh, you guys. Okay, so since we beat K 
Koga, no problem. So the next gym is the Fire Gym. So I can use Surf from my Lapras to just like destroy there. And then after that, we've got um, the final gym, which is like a rock type. So again, I think like Lapras, I'm pretty sure like Lapras can destroy everything there. And then it's on to the Elite Four. Y'all, I really did not expect to get this far. Like I really thought Sabrina was going to destroy me and then I didn't really... I mean, Koga's given me problems in the past, but I guess if I just psychic his everything, then it just, it's fine. But I don't know what's going to happen at the Elite Four. I don't know. But I feel like if I got this far, then I'm going to get to the Elite Four. Now, whether like I can actually beat the Elite Four, like, that's a whole other question. I don't know. But, um, but I feel like if I got this far, I can at least, I can at least beat all, get all the gym badges. <gasps> There's one! Yay! We found one. Okay, so we're gonna do... Put it to sleep. I need to switch where those moves are. So that I don't accidentally Psybeam. I had Psybeam in the first slot for leveling up Pinky, but like, that's not right for catching Pokemons. Okay. So let's do a great ball. No. Well, we'll try an ultra ball next. That should do it. Oh my god. Ditto, you're so annoying. <laughs> it transformed into me. All right, put it to sleep again. Yes, 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 fast asleep. Now let's try again with an Ultra Ball. And don't be so finicky this time, Ditto. It's your new home. You should like it. Wow. Oh my god. Maybe I do really need to damage it a little, but like my Pokemon are so high level, I kind of can't. Oh my god. And of course it's using Flash. Go back to sleep. It's bedtime, ditto. All right, this time, this time, we need a great ball. Get in the robot, Shinji. Oh my god, I thought threatening it would work. Let me try an ultra ball. I can't believe this. I don't have anything that can really damage it without killing it. Because it's only level 23. This is no bueno, you guys. He's going to use all my balls, and I'm not even going to get him. You know, finding you was hard enough. You shouldn't make it hard to catch you. Definitely did not bring enough balls. I did not think he was going to be this annoying to catch. I guess because he's so rare, maybe he has a low catch rate too? I don't really know. But putting them to sleep and using an appropriate ball, like Ultra Ball, should have worked. <laughs> oh, you're gonna poison me now. That's great. Love it. I mean, I guess I can poison you too, but like, what if the poison stays? I don't know. Go back to sleep. Like, the poison's risky. Yeah, but I guess I'm gonna have to. 
I guess I'm gonna have to because I'm running out of balls and that's like the best thing I think we can try. All right, let's poison powder. Oh, because he failed because he's asleep. I have to wait for him to wake up. I guess I can cure my poison while I'm waiting for him to wake up. Oh, not awakening. What am I doing? I want an antidote. There we go. All right, let's poison powder and get some health gone. Oh, fucking lovely. Please don't kill Pinky. Oh, it barely did anything. Okay, good. Well, actually, if that's the case, if I Psybeam him... Okay. That didn't do as much damage as I thought, I guess because he's, like, a Butterfree right now. Well... Okay, now let's try an Ultra Ball. Oh my god. I have two Ultra Balls left? Okay, we're gonna use one. It's gonna die. It's gonna die from the poison. I can feel it. It's gonna die from the poison before I catch it. All right, last attempt. Yep, it didn't work. And it's dead now. Oh, it's not dead! Okay, well, I need to switch. Because I'm not going to sacrifice Pinky for this crap. But it's going to die next time. Yep, now it's dead. Bye, Ditto. Whatever, we tried. I guess we can't win them all. I tried to get a Ditto. I found one, but I didn't catch it. Well, at least I didn't let that area waste. I tried to catch something. Alright, let's get... I need an antidote. Antidote for Pinky. Antidote for Lishy. Alright, there we go. Come on, Moisty, fly me home. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of Butterfree for Hypno. And then, there we go. Alright, so this is our party going into the next area. Oop, wrong button. No, okay. So this is our party going into the next area. We're going to have Teeth Fuzz the Gengar, Snorlax the Lishy the Snorlax, Caroline the Lapras, Moisty the um, Pidgeotto, Lord Oreo the uh, Electrode, and Badger the Hypno. So let me show you guys where we're going to go next. So we are going to go down, 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 down here. Okay, so this is the next area, Route 19. We're going to do a lot of swimming. We're going to do a lot of swimming, you guys. All right. 
So let me save. Yes, okay. Let me switch back to the webcam while I get the game closed out. Oh wait, let's save in the game too. Yes, I do want to overwrite my save. All right, who is online right now? Who is online that we can raid into? Now my posture got really bad looking for that ditto. <laughs> All right, so we're fully saved. We're gonna close the game. All right, who is online? Who is online? Okay, Miss Nix is playing Smite. We can definitely raid into Nix. That should be good. Okay, let's go right into Miss Nix, you guys. But before we do that, let's do one more. Let's do one more birthday party treat time. Yeah, y'all see? Y'all saw Queen's head? Y'all saw Queen's head? Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Last one for your birthday. Happy birthday. Don't worry, Queen. I'm sending you one, too. Here you go. Happy birthday. All right, you guys, today, Lady and Oreo are one year old. We say happy birthday to them, and let's raid into Miss Nyx. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today for Oreo and Lady's first birthday party. Um, next On next Saturday, we will be talking about Euphoria. We're going to be talking about season two of Euphoria, so that's part two of that stream. And then next Thursday, we'll be doing more Nuzlocke because Koga didn't kill us. So yeah, we're going to continue on to the next routes, to the water route, and um, through the uh, Seafoam Islands, and then over to Cinnabar Islands. That's what we'll be doing. Um, here's all the places you can find me. I'm active on Twitter. I have a Discord. Um, you can support me in all of the ways that you would support any other content creator. You know, all the stuff is down there. You can subscribe to the Twitch. You can do the bits. You know, I've got a tip chart, da 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 You know how it works. I do the same thing every other content creator does. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day. All right, here we go. Have fun, you guys. 